Hey guys, this is Tordo. Today we're going to be talking about move decks because honestly, move decks are probably some of my favorite decks in Marvel Snap. Now there is one card basically that I am missing from this, which is Human Torch. Um, but other than that, I think I've got all the move cards so far. Um, I I don't think there's any others that I'm missing. Uh, either way, we're going to look talk, talk about each of the cards and then we're going to play some games. So first up is Iron Fist. He's basically an enabler. He moves the the next card that you play to the left after it is revealed. Most likely you won't be kind of using him too much um, on turn one. You most likely use him on turn two uh, or afterwards. But if you have like uh, like uh, multiple man sitting in your hand or something like that, then you could use him turn one immediately kind of play those multiple mans. I've got Nightcrawler here. Mostly because I just like Nightcrawler um, in the game, like being able to move him around and such. Um, he doesn't really activate anything here, but he's another character that I can move around so I can move him away so that way uh, the other cards can, act can activate and stuff or I can use him to kind of steal an objective. And I've got Scarlet Witch here because uh, currently I don't really have much of better options. She'll be replaced by Human Torch, but it gets rid of like unsavory kind of locations. And the cool thing is that the current location that's featured here um the Muir Muir Island Muir more Muir I can't pronounce it properly Island one it's pretty good for this because it enables us to kind of stack up a whole bunch of stuff and then drag it across to another area as well uh so from there we've got Dagger here Dagger whenever you move her she gains a power based on the location she ends up at which synergizes well with Cloak synergizes well with Heimdall synergizes well with um Iron Fist even if you want to use her early on We've got Forge here. Now, Forge is mostly to enable us to get big multiple man. Um, but, I mean, sometimes I use him just to kind of buff up, like a character later on or something like that. Usually multiple man's the best option to use in him because of multiple man's ability, which is just insane. Every time you move him, he adds a copy of himself back to that location that he was at. So you can just move him around as much as you want. And he just fills the board with really great copies of himself if you've managed to buff them up. We've got Cloak here who's a character who has enables us to do our movements by basically making it so that next turn we can move anyone that we want. We've got Hulkbuster who's going to merge onto a card, which is good because you can merge him on to multiple man. Multiple man becomes then a 2-7 and then you move him and he's just creating 2-7 copies everywhere. Doctor Strange is another movement enabler to enable us to either move Vulture to get him buffed up or multiple man to get him buffed up. Even Dagger is a good option there. Vulture gains extra power whenever he moves um, and Vision is another one kind of like Nightcrawler as to why he's in there basically to enable us to be able to move him around and get him out of the way but also just because he's a decent card. And then finally, Heimdall is like our big kind of finisher. Move everything over to the left. Uh, basically, just making it so that we can capture those two locations is the main uh, kind of goal there. Uh, now, as for other cards, like we've got obviously Human Torch that's in here um, that we could potentially add in. I was thinking of another one just before. Um, I It's not really... Uh, oh, the one that I wanted to talk about is Craven. Craven is just bad. He's another character that has movement synergy, but like you're not going to activate an, it enough, in my opinion. Um, like he's not going to become big enough, fast enough for it to actually matter. Like you need to move so many different things into his location that it's just not really worth it or anything. If his power like doubled or something, whenever something moved there, or if it's any time a card moved, then it would be great. But currently, it's just not very strong. And I kind of um, get a little bit disappointed about that because I, I would like the idea behind the card. It's just not amazing. Uh, also, the movement, um, like <laughs> the movement filter is wrong because it like got like Leech in here who has remove, for example. All right. We're going to go in and play some fights now. Um, hopefully, we can get a decent matchup. Um, hopefully, it's not someone using Carnage Nova or something incredibly powerful because I like playing the off-meta stuff. I prefer playing the off-meta stuff rather than kind of kind of sticking with the, the stuff that I know is overpowered and going to win fights. The fun stuff, in other words. All right. So, we're versus Akilesh. Akilesh? I don't know how to pronounce that properly. Alrighty, so, just 
Refiguring that. Okay, so there's no point kind of playing our Squirrel Girl, uh, sorry, our Scarlet Witch down at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to kind of hold her in the hand in case of later on. Uh, hopefully, to kind of draw multiple man here. This is a bit unfortunate. Here we go. We've got multiple man. Unfortunately, Hulk Buston is going to either go on to multiple man or Squirrel Girl. We obviously ideally want him to go on to multiple man, but we'll see as to how that goes. Oh, okay. That's not helpful. Um, all right, let's try and get our multiple man out of there, I guess. I don't know. This is, this is not great. See, this is a location that I'd love to be able to Scarlet Witch, but Scarlet Witch doesn't work on it. But we're going to drag multiple man out of there. All right, now I can Hulkbuster. We can try and Hulkbuster onto the multiple man here. The Iron Fist isn't going to help us, unfortunately. Scarlet Witching the middle here is not going to really help either. All right, cool. That merged onto there. That's great. Now we can cloak into the middle. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to... The amount of stuff that's kind of just flooded in here isn't great. Um, because these are all going to activate after Heimdall. Yeah, that's not going to be great. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not great either. <laughs> Um, because now we can't drag stuff to here. Professor X has just completely screwed that up. All right. So we can't obviously do anything there. Uh, this is not, not going to be great for us. Because we can't place anything mid, can't drag our multiple man along. This isn't going to work. Should have retreated there, actually. That would have been a much better idea. Lost four cubes for that. See, this is this is one of the issues with it, I think, um, when they have stuff like Central Park or um, Shadowland or anything that kind of floods the board there. Uh, it ends up creating it so that you just don't have location to be able to place enough of your cards down. The other thing is that the dark dimension kind of, it, it's a bit annoying there as well. Kind of locking our cards in until the end. But they don't activate in order. They, those ones will all activate at the end. So here we go. So I've got Forge in hand, but we don't have multiple man. We've got our two cards to buff multiple man, but not our multiple man. Oh, that's uh, that's a bit of a rip. Um, all right, so I'm gonna play Nightcrawler here. Oh, sweet, they Scarlet Witched it. All right, that's good. So ideally, we draw multiple man. That's not multiple man, but I can still kind of work with that. Because I can drag him over here. We can buff him up a bit. So if we put Vulture here, then we can play Cloak here next turn. Draw, uh, sorry, maybe I should play Doctor Strange next turn. Oh, okay. Bugger. Um, all right, last turn we can do anything there. In fact, if we do this... All right, we got it. We'll have a five power multiple man. I can then use cloak here to drag it across. Boom. So now they can't play anything here. We can technically drag like 
if I go Clark here, um, so Cloak's going to drag across. All right, Doctor Strange is going to drag across a multiple man. Then next turn, I can Cloak and drag across another multiple man. I can technically just drag across Vulture. Boom. Because there's no way they can buff this. So I can drag across, let's see. Can drag across Vulture here, so that's two, three, eight. This is gonna be massive. Over here, I can't, oh, actually, wait. Wait, all right, give me a sec. No, I can't do that. Only one card can be here for each player. We're gonna have to drag multiple man across, a uh, vulture across like this. Can't really do too much here. I can put down Hulkbuster just in case they don't play something. But I think we got this. Boom. All right, they put America Chavez there. But that's fine, because we still won. There we go. Them flooding that board over there ended up make, being pretty good for us. Boom. All right, Vulture, ready to be upgraded. The, um, we didn't actually draw Heimdall that game either. Heimdall being like a big finisher here. All right, so the interesting thing is with Iron Fist, if you Iron Fist something after you apply Hulkbuster to them, then they'll get dragged across. All right, cards with the highest power here, get plus three. So I think I want to play Dagger across to here. Worst case scenario, I'm going to drag Dagger around. Okay, cool. So... Let's put Vulture over here. I think. Yeah, let's put Vulture over there. Then next turn we can Iron Fist Hulkbuster something. Hulkbuster then either one of these. Unfortunately, they're kind of going over to here for some reason. But that's fine. This here, uh, cards with the highest power, we should be able to get that pretty easily. Because we can just do this, and then this. Hulkbuster will attach to either one of these. I don't mind which one it is. And then drag them across. We can kind of hope that if it attaches to Dagger, they play something here. So that way we have that opportunity. If not, we've also got Cloak that we can play at the end on turn five. So that's next turn. To be able to drag Dagger across to here, she's going to become pretty powerful. All right, we got Vulture there. So then Vulture's gonna become eight power, come across, become 13 power, boom. 16 power, sorry, because he's got uh, the highest there. All right, so from here, we play Cloak over, a uh, Dagger over here. No, sorry, Cloak over here. I think I play Doc Strange here. No, wait, other way around, I think. No, if I play Cloak over there, Doc Strange here. No, Doc Strange is going to drag Vulture. Um, do I want to drag Vulture or not? If I drag Vulture, then he will become what? One, uh, pretty strong, but it will be giving up this middle one here. Let's drag, no. Let's just wait. I think let's put Nightcrawler over here for now. Oh, I needed to drag Dagger. That's what I get confused about the way um, Doc Strange works. Not confused, I just, I just forget how she works, how he works. All right, so. I can move Vulture over here and he'll just become massive. If I move Vulture over there, 
Then I can drag him back with Doc Strange. I'm going to do this just so they lose the powers over there, just in case there is a draw. So, here, Doc Strange, and drag him back again to become, like, freaking massive. God, he's, he's so big his words don't even work. All right, that's locked down now. They can't even play anything over there anymore. Oh, the Carnage Nova rip. That's fine. All right, so we've got to basically win this. Boom. There we go. All right, that worked well. This Vulture, though, 26 power. God. All right. Uh, but that's basically the way the team, the, the um, deck works, guys. Dragon characters around. A lot of different fun. Um, I, I enjoy this deck a lot more than any other ones. Um, I'll show you guys the deck again. Just so that way if you want to copy it down or um, anything you can. Boom. This is the current deck that I'm running um, for the for the movement and everything. I, I'm enjoying it a lot. So if you guys have any changes you think that I should do. Let me know that as well. That's it for today guys. Have a great time. Goodbye.